All right, hi, my name is Larry Wood. I'm the USA Product Line Manager for Intercorp. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about the Sahara and the technology behind it, and why it's so important to use cyclonic technology to remove propens and solids out of your flow stream. To begin with, every cyclonic device that has been created, they use an offset inlet to try to create a vortex inside the vessel. This is great technology, but it doesn't always work. The reason is, is because of the tidal flow in your well, you're gonna have gas pockets in your fluid column. Anything that causes interruption within the vortex of that vessel is gonna cause interruption in how well it separates the solids from the fluids and the gas. So what we've done at Intercorp is we've engineered and created a vortices that is gonna to have to happen. We force the well flow into a vortex. We start off with an offset inlet as it comes into the vessel. Behind that inlet, we have a adjustable nozzle size which can create the, the speed of the vortex that we want to achieve to have the best turndown ratio to, to remove all of the solids out of your flow stream. And what I mean by turndown ratio is that's the velocity, the feet per second that that vortex is spinning. The faster it, it spins, the more of the solids are gonna be spun out of that vortex. And our turndown ratio ranges from 17 feet per second to 65 feet per second, which is huge. And it makes a big difference. At the lower end of our spectrum, at the lower end of the uh, turndown ratio, at 17 feet per second, we're still above 95% efficient at removing all solids out of the flow stream. And I'm not just talking about 40 and 70 and 100 mesh sand. We designed this and engineered it to where it would remove particle sizes down to 100 microns, which is actually two thirds the size of 100 mesh sand. And it even does better than that. So when you have crushed sands coming out of your formation that are even a little bit smaller than 100 microns, we're removing that as well. Now, as the speed increases in that vortex, gets closer to 35, 45, 55, 60 feet per second, we're up to 99 to 99.7% efficient at knocking all of the solids out down to 100 microns. The second thing I wanna talk about is where all of this separation takes place. As we look towards the top of the vessel, that top portion of the vessel is actually the Sahara portion of the vessel. That's where we're separating all liquids, gases, and propen, right? So as the vortices is being forced, as we're spinning the solids out, those solids will actually drop down into the lower chamber of the vessel. This chamber is a static chamber. There's no vortex down there. Therefore, you don't have disturbance and you don't have turbulence down in that bottom part of the vessel. It doesn't stir the sand up and pick it up and pull it back out the top. So everything is taking place in the very top of this vessel. Why that's important is this. Most companies are using this entire vessel and trying to create a vortex in the entire chamber. And when you do that, if you manage to create a good vortex, you always are gonna have disturbance of that sand because the sand doesn't dump all by itself all the time. So it builds up in the bottom of that chamber. And if you have a vortices in the bottom of it, it's now stirring that sand back up and it's carrying it back out the top of the vessel. So that's really one of the most important parts of this other than the engineering that went behind the true Sahara development. By the way, that engineering took us over a year of R&D to develop the internal portion of that vessel, which does such an amazing job. I always said in the past that we would never have a one size fits all uh, solution for sand management. Well, my engineers proved me wrong. We now can use one vessel to remove all the propping out of your flow stream up to roughly 15,000 barrels a day, over 10 million MCF. I can use one piece of equipment to remove all of that propping down to 100 microns in size and not have to have a large footprint of two, three or four vessels trying to separate that sand. The other good thing about that is, number one, it saves the company money because you don't have a huge amount of equipment on location. Number two, it reduces the amount of manpower on location, which also saves the company money and reduces risk and exposure. So all of those things combined makes Intercorp's Sahara Sand Solution the best on the market and the best wellhead desander that we've ever had.